Hi, this is Andy Scott with North Shore Apartments and Condos. I'm walking into 820 Hinman, number three. And if I go just a little to my right, you see the living room and a huge sunroom. If I turn to my left, there's a hallway, whoops a daisy, that leads to the rest of the apartment. And you can just see it through that sliver, the uh, stainless steel fridge. Let's start with the living room. This is a big room, has a decorated fireplace, a mantle and some shelves. The two windows there are facing north. Big radiators on either side of the uh, sun porch um, door there. Windows here are facing east. And then on the right side of the uh, room, we have windows facing south. It's a very nice color. Um, it's sort of beige with maybe a little gray and just a hint of green in it. Hardwood floors are very nice. It's got to be 12 or more feet across by about 15 or 16 feet long, maybe 16 feet long. I'll walk towards the south wall and just swing around and give you an idea of the space. So a nice big living room. Great ceiling fan, new ceiling fan. And then if we walk through the door, we have a carpeted sunroom. All these windows are newer windows, so you'll be protected from all the weather for all four seasons. This is a really, this has got to be the same, not quite 16 feet, but very close, 14, 15 feet long. And it's probably about 10 feet across, well, minimum eight feet across. So if you're looking out the windows, you're looking out to Hinman. We're just south of Maine here, so it's a terrific location. Again, I'll go to the south um, wall window and give you a whole shot of the uh, sunroom. And then we'll come back in where we can see the living room again and the decorative fireplace, the shelves, the mantle. You see lots of outlets. A nice big room with a ceiling fan and two radiators. The coaxial cable comes in on that wall there. So as we head through the, uh, past the front door into the entryway, we look into the dining room. But before we go into the dining room, we turn to our right, we see the first bedroom. First bedroom is a nice size bedroom. Certainly do a queen size bed or a full size bed. This room is carpeted. Um, you see the radiator there. Again, we have ceiling fans. The windows are facing north and they basically look into the next building next to us. You can see the red behind the shades. Um, but you still get good natural light. And from one of the windows, we take another look. There's the door I was just standing in. And it's easily 10 and a half or 11 feet wide by 10 feet on the short side, probably 12 feet on the longer side because it's not a square room. That doesn't make sense, but it's a multi-sided room. The closet is very sophisticated. You've got each one of those shelves can be used as a hanger. You also have a hanging bar, more shelves here. The total space is probably about four feet across by about two feet deep. So a nice big closet that's really effective uh, in its utility. And that is bedroom number one. So we'll come out of bedroom number one. And before we go very far, we have a nice closet here that's probably uh, 30 inches across, maybe a little bit more, maybe a full th three feet shelves, and again, about two feet deep. So that's a nice linen closet. And the reason we need a linen closet is we have our full bath here. This was remodeled a couple of years ago. You see ceramic tile floor, a beautiful uh, sink and uh, fixture with some, it's an interesting cabinet below. 
nice tank toilet, new tile, you have a nice mirror, a nice light fixture, um, outlet for all your bath appliances. Shower head is probably about 6'3". The tile is all new. You see glass block window here, which is really great. There's a vent up there. Uh, the light really helps to keep the whole bath clean. And you can see it's just a very pretty tub shower combo. So let's turn this on. We'll get this all the way hot. Now we have terrific water pressure. It's nice having a glass black window behind and you can see it drains beautifully. So shut that down and let everything clear out. But this is really nice. And the sink too. Again, yeah, we're just going with the hot. Terrific there. Now the bottom drawer is just the bottom two drawers, just one big deep drawer. And then up on top, there's a little space in the middle for the pipe. But you know, this is generally beautiful. And again, we have a tank, toilet, towel bar. Really a very pretty, newer, super clean bath. It's actually quite bright, and there's a radiator as well. We come to the second bedroom. This is a rectangle, and it's a little bit bigger. And it's, it's much more square than most. And there's a au pair off of this bedroom, which I'll show you in a second. There is a ceiling fan. The windows are facing north. In this case, I will walk to the north-facing window. Again, not much view, but good light. This again could easily do a queen size bed and would be great, actually a great couple's bedroom. Nice closet here, again, very sophisticated closet system, allows a lot of hangers and some hanging bars as well, so as well as shelves. Um, how big? Well, maybe three feet by two and a half feet, something like that. It's a little more square. And then we come towards the au pair, which I will show you in a second, but just take one last look at the bedroom. Get an idea of the size and the closet. Very, very usable space. Again, it's carpeted. The idea here is to keep it quiet from bedroom to bedroom, from floor to floor. So we're on the top floor here, whoops-a-daisy, and we don't want to make noise underneath. This is the au pair. It'd be a great reading room. Could be used as a bedroom or an office. The windows are facing west. You have the little radiator over there. If I close the bedroom door, this is a smaller closet, maybe two and a half feet, three feet across, a little less than two feet deep, but it has a hanging bar and shelf. Really terrific. Interesting ceiling pattern, a little bit different with the ceiling tiles. Um, lots of outlets. Again, we have outlets on all the walls. And we'll just look at it one more time. So you put this room together with the room next door, if that's the way you wanted to use it. And you've got a reading room. You can see uh, it was used as a computer room at one point. Great office space for sure. So we'll come back through the second bedroom and back past the bath. And there, now we're looking at the front door into the living room. And if we turn to our right, we see this great formal dining room. Again, this is like the five sided room that the first bedroom was. And we have another little office or old pair or even a bedroom on the left side of the picture. Beautiful hardwood floors. These windows are facing south. Big radiator. And uh, it's a big room. It's harder for me to gauge when we have the five-sidedness of it, but this is easily 13 feet across and probably, oh, let's make it 12 feet across and 13 feet long, something like that. Maybe a little less, but it's great space. The kitchen is just through the dining room, which I'll get there in a second. 
but we have this little extra room as well. Now, I don't want to call this a bedroom, although it could be if you have a, a child. Great office. Again, we have that interesting ceiling tiles. It's probably, you know, nine by seven, something like that. Um, so certainly worthwhile space. But if you have two people working from home, you just can't beat this. And there you have shelf and uh, hanging bar. This is a little deeper than it is wide. So I'd say maybe two plus by two across. So that's really nice. And we'll close that up. But this is great. The window is facing east and you get nice light in here. You have the outlet. Whoops, there it is. And you have another outlet there. So really usable space. It's off the dining room. We'll take another look at that. And just walk in to try to give you some perspective. So when we first came in, you could just get a glimpse of that stainless steel fridge. And before we get there, we have a butler's pantry with a countertop, a granite countertop, and some cabinets underneath. Let's see if I can show you these. Are, it's a little darker underneath here, so and I don't have. Uh, yeah, I'm not getting very far showing you the depth of those, but those are nice shelves. And up above, we have some more nice shelves. This is a little easier to see. And in total, I would say it's probably two feet. These are, I'm going to step back. These are two feet high and probably about four feet across, maybe a little bit less. So really nice storage. And that's the butler's pantry. You can see the rock countertop. And as we get into the uh, kitchen, we've got lots of big cabinets, a nice uh, granite countertop, uh, um, dishwasher, uh, twin stainless steel sink with a hose attachment for dishes, a little more counter space next to a full-size stove, Stainless steel microwave, more cabinet space, more cabinet space to the left of the stove. Nice big stainless steel fridge, table, hot hanger, and a back door that would take you down to laundry and storage. So I'm just going to come back by the wall and give you another glance at what we're talking about here. And in fact, I think I'm going to start with the fridge. So, fridge is about five feet, nine inches. Freezer on top, shelves to the left. Nice big, oops, the days are too bright. Nice big fridge, crisper drawers on the bottom, new drawer on the top, butter dish, shelves, really a super clean fridge. Stainless steel sink. We know the water pressure is good, but we'll give it a whirl. Whoops, there's the hot water. Like that. Twin stainless steel sinks. Rock countertop. Underneath, I know it's dry. And I'll show you that. So everything is working really well. Shut down the water. Open the cabinets. So you have two sets of these. These are probably a full three feet high. The shelves are about 10 inches deep. And you've got uh, room for four shelves, so that's really nice. And like I said, you have two of them. Full-size dishwasher, which is really nice. Another smidgen of granite countertop, a drawer, full-size stove. Nice, clean, squeaky clean oven, which is great. A little bit of counter space underneath, which is also great. That's deeper counter space, really good. Another one of these big um, shelves with another shelf next door. This would be the same thing, a little bit smaller. There you go, and you have the outlet for the microwave, which is squeaky clean, nice stainless steel. It's not brand new, but it sure looks new. It's just a terrific kitchen, really. So I'm trying to show you. It's big enough, so it's hard for me to show you 
in one straight panoramic view, but it is a super clean kitchen. And there's the stove and the microwave. And we have just a couple more things to see. One is this huge pantry here. Oops, a little bit darker. Which, let's see if I can do something about that. We open that up. We open that up. And you see the pantry, lots of shelves. Probably three feet deep. More than two feet across, maybe close to three feet. You have some baskets hung on the door. We also have a powder room or a half bath. This is a terrific, super clean, super bright window facing east. But you can see everything is like new, which is really great. The yeah, fixture is terrific as well. You have the outlet there. Underneath you have a little bit of storage, which is great. Tank toilet. And I just open it up. Everybody thinks it's cleaner if you keep it closed, but for videos that leaves a big question mark. So you have a powder room, a full bath, both have been remodeled. And if we were to walk straight through, we would come into the au pair. That's what I called it, the small room off the second bedroom. So we'll come back, we look back past the uh, powder room, the pantry, the nice kitchen, through the dining room, which has a small room to the right, right there, come back through here, walk past bedroom number one, and that brings us back to the uh, front door. It's a very nice apartment. Thanks for watching.